So when we start talking about what are some of the specific uh, tricks and tips that you can use to start doing this kind of work, once again, gra gratitude, things like uh, keeping a gratitude journal is helpful. Uh, there's a, there's a, something as simple as looking at some of the people that are important to your life, perhaps even some of the ones that you have some challenges with, and start saying, what do I actually appreciate or what am I grateful for in this person? You know, some of you may be in some difficult um, relationships with your children, your spouses, and this, that, and the other. And those relationships probably weren't always that way. It's like when these first people first came into your life and they were magical, what was it about them that made them special? And, and can you still have some gratitude for that? Now, what that does is that creates new pathways in your brain to um, have a different experience, a different interaction, a different uh, back and forth with them because you see them from the position of gratitude. And because you made that shift, you start attracting more of that into your life. You know, we were talking about this earlier where we said, um, when you start looking at your life right now, you now have a reality based on some choices and decisions you made in the past. So if you're not happy with what's going on in your life, it's a result of some choices and decisions that you made. And if you continue to say things like, uh, I'm unhappy with my finances. I'm unhappy with my romance. I'm unhappy with my um, job situation. I'm unhappy with all this. What you're communicating to the world is unhappiness. And the more you communicate that, the more that comes into your life. That's what you're attracting. The, those are the words you, you're using. That's what you're communicating. So when you change that, you know, as we were saying, with things like a, a gratitude journal or just a, a list of things or just a meditation in the morning where you start talking about, you know, a, a handful of things that you're grateful for. When you take any situation, you, you know, it's kind of like you can have a near miss accident and you can be grateful for the fact that, you know, the accident didn't occur, that you had the wherewithal, that your vehicle responded, that a whole host of things happened so that you weren't, that the accident didn't occur. You know, you have all these moments in any given day for gratitude at any given time, just to have to start telling yourself, that's what I'm choosing to accept as my new reality is the gratitude for every situation. Does that kind of address the question give us a little backdrop there? I think that's a key component. We, you know, and that's that whole law of attraction type thing. And, and we hear a lot of uh, talk about that. And it, it is true. And again, it is about framing, reframing uh, how you that little person on your shoulder and what they're whispering in your ear, that self-talk piece, all of that's relevant, right? To having a positive mindset. And what we really want to get to, and, and my true focus is not just to have a positive, I want to have a powerful mindset. You know, that's that's the ultimate goal to want to get to the peak of that level of performance where your mindset literally is a driving force for you. Because that's when I think it's going, you're going to get the greatest benefit out of having that type of mindset and pushing yourself to be in that particular way. So I think that there are a couple of things that you really have to, A, figure out for yourself what they truly mean for you, A, because it's, it's an individual thing, too, and that's the other part of it, which makes this such a tricky thing to nail down, because we all have unique experiences in life. We're all on our own journey. Uh, we're, we're, we can see the same. We can literally sit here, watch something happen and both describe it and to totally describe something totally different based on our own perceptions and, and how we see life. But here's the three things. We, we talk about optimism already. So that's one of the three. The other is focus. I think focus is a key component to this. And then the other is being realistic, right? Uh, truly being realistic. So not pie in the sky and you know, I want a million dollars. Well, yes, that's nice, but to what end? Is it just to have the million? Because a lot of the times, you what can drive you from a mindset standpoint is what is the purpose of the goal? Not what is the goal, but what is the purpose of the goal? 